safari walk. Nairobi safari walk. Okay? Huh? Inside, inside the town. I don't know. Do you know where safari walk is? Wait a moment to check the map. Okay. Safari Park, eh? This one, eh? No. Safari Park Hotel. No. Safari Park. Dude, can you not just follow the map? From, uh... Safari Park. No, it's Safari Walk. Safari Walk. But I put the address into Uber, so you should just follow that walk, that... The map, eh? Nairobi Safari Walk. Oh, it's Langata. That one. Uh -huh. Langata. Are we good? Okay. Being naughty. Yeah. He's really bad. Oh really? Yeah. What what did he do? <laughs> <laughs> He's a big big guy though. Yeah. He's very big. Very big. What did he do? Did he try to steal something? Yeah, he's stealing food. Food? Yeah. Oh. Yeah guys, so... So I'm meeting Brittany in Africa. Brittany's from the US and she also has a YouTube channel and she's in Nairobi right now. So she and I thought we would just go for a little safari walk and then we're gonna go to Bomas of Kenya. Yeah, it should be a fun day exploring some of the tourism things to do in Nairobi. And they have this cool walk that you can go on and see some of the creatures without going on a fully fledged safari. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go and get a coffee while I wait for her to arrive. This is the Kenya Wildlife Services compound. Main reception. And then you've got the gift shop, orphanage. This is what we're doing. And that's what I need just now. So many planes flying overhead here. Which is good. A lot of people coming into the the city. Are you comfortable? No problem. Okay. George, good man. <laughs> That's the least they could do. Me, Brittany, and George. We just paid. So how much? To, how much did you pay? As a I resident? paid two dollars and fifty cents okay. because I am a Kenyan resident. Oh. <laughs> and I just paid twenty-five dollars, 
and there's a convenience Ten fee. Times more <laughs> George, <laughs> which makes a seven percent convenience fee. I think I just spent three thousand two hundred and fifteen yeah. shillings. But I'm it's sure it'll be it. worth it. George is going to give us the experience of a lifetime. Yes. Yes, vibing <laughs> with George. It's a sample of what you expect to see in the wild. Oh. oh. Yeah, it has a savanna, it has a forest, and oh. it has a wetland. Oh. So where are we right now? We are in the wetland where oh. I'm going to find the pygmy hippo. The pygmy hippo. Yes. Wow. The pygmy hippo Where is he? Is he hiding? So he's, he, he, he's hiding, but I think we're going to find him on the other side. It's I was going to say, it's, it's kind of hard for a hippo to hide. We're going to find Bob on the side. Bob. Bob. Oh. Bob is so dangerous, right? The Nile hippo. The Nile hippo? Mm -hmm. You're dangerous. When I was in Navasha, they were literally they talking aggressive? about all the hippo mm -hmm. killings. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're faster than you would think. Oh, right. You see the... He's got short legs though. How is he yeah. so fast? Behind the, behind the, <laughs> but strong skiller. legs. Behind skiller. Is yeah. Hippo, then followed by buffalo. Yeah. The hippos are dangerous. They're the most deadly animal in Africa. Oh yeah, I hear they're aggressive. But they they stay in the water all day, right? Yeah, yeah during the day. They come out at night. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they are called the Nile. When they're born they weigh fifty kilo. The Nile hippo. Okay. And the fully grown one can weigh. I still can't do pounds to kilo. I'm like an American, American. I think I think I'm like. The last time I weighed myself was when they wouldn't let me go on a horse because I was too heavy, <laughs> <laughs> and I was ninety kilos. Oh, so a baby 90. is like half you. So a baby, yeah, exactly. Sheesh, Louise. <laughs> all right. Yeah, Bob, yeah. Bob. Okay. All right, Bob. Does Bob know his name? Yes. He caught. <laughs> He's like, what's up? Bob. So he, when I call him, he, he comes. comes. Yes. Ah. Wow. Bob. Do you know all their names? Yes. Bob. Bob. Come here, Bob. <laughs> Bob. Hello. Bob. Bob's like, dude. Aw. Aw. Can I come in? The hippos are, I would rather go in with a lion than a hippo from the stats that I've heard seriously. Really? They're aggressive. This one looks quite small though. Yeah. He is. Oh, he's a baby? Yeah. A real hippo you cannot even stand next to. Yeah. Oh man. They are very aggressive. Really? Yeah. You just let it come here. You see the teeth it has. He looks angry as well. No, but it's a friendly thing. This one is. Have you, seen, have you met Bob before? Yeah, we just when played we came and we're sleeping. Can I feed Bob? Really? This is amazing. <gasps> oh my god. Bob, you're probably. Oh my god. He's so close. In your ear. Is this exciting, exciting Brittany from Africa? This is so exciting. Honestly, Brittany I've, in Africa, my bad. I've been you here. Know? I've been uh, here, but I've never you. been to this Anna. side. Ah, na na penda. He's living the life. <laughs> He is living the life. Aww. Are you guys going to get him a friend? Yeah, I know. He still seems a bit lonely. You guys don't want to get him a friend? A girlfriend. <laughs> Do you meet them here? or No. No? We, there's a place we met them. Okay. Yeah. Here we are just rescued. Okay, okay. Yeah. What was his situation that you had to rescue him from? Yeah, I feel like these orphanages are not actually orphanages sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, look at that one with his whole family. Let's rescue him. We're going to rescue that one. <laughs> <laughs> his mom just Bye, Bob. three seconds. He's neglected. Bye, Bob. Bye. See you later. We're going to find the hyena. Oh, the hyena. You know, hyenas are nocturnal. You don't see them during the day. Mm. Ah. Since they like hiding. I see. But here we have one that we're gonna see. I'm gonna 
get one from the hole. Okay. What do you know about hyena? Um, they have a very high biting pressure compared to other animals, but they don't really know how to kill, so they rip for your stomach first. They rip your stomach out so you can bleed in through the intestines because they're not good attackers. You're knowledgeable. And they are scavengers. <laughs> Brittany and Africa. <laughs> Brittany and Africa. Not just a pretty face. <laughs> yeah, no, I listen. I really listen. I've learned a lot. Okay. How long have you been here? Um, for a year. Oh, yes. One year. Uh, one year. One year. Okay. Mm. And you're going to be here for? Um, for life. For, for life. <laughs> <laughs> in and out. In and out. Uh, yeah. What? Um, what's your last name? It's Jim. You're Lua. Yes. Oh, you know. This is your We've been here. <laughs> We've been in Kenya. You're in Lua. Yeah. Okay, so does that mean that you are supporting Odinga? Yes. In the election? Yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. Did you know that he was a little? No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about politics. <laughs> now we go find the hyena. Okay. So you'll be ready here. I'm ready. To see the hyena coming out. Very. I was about to say, where's the other gate? <laughs> are you going to go in and camp? Not with the hyena. Oh no, I'm talking about this. So we're gonna find the hyena. Ow! Ow! Ow. Ow. Oh, I was asking my uh, the people watching my videos. Yeah. I was asking them which tribe I should be in. It's Kikuyu. I'm guessing most said. They all said Kikuyu. Kikuyu. Yeah. Because I was negotiating. <laughs> They're like, I saw the way you bargained for those shillings. Yeah, exactly. Right. You like money. <laughs> But then somebody said I should be Leo, Luo, Luos, because are... I was running, racing somebody out the state. No, somebody, one of the tribes is fast. Mm. I'm not sure. Luos are like big spenders, flexors. Kikuyu are stingy with their money, huh. but they have money. <laughs> but Luos are stereotyped as like spending huh. on girls lavishly. And... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there he is there. Uh oh, he's fat. He is a very fat hyena. No, he's very fat. Yeah. That makes me happy. Their lions are so fat. It's not even funny. Oh, because you think they're well fed? Very well fed, but at what point is that bad for an animal? Well, yeah. I you mean, can't climb. If, they're not, if they don't have enough space to like run around, yeah. like, then they're going to get fat like humans. Yeah, facts. We used to, we probably used to be skinny. Facts, yeah. And now I'm 90 kilos. <laughs> Back in the day, they'd be like this piece of lard. I know. Lard ass. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. okay. Come back. Okay, he's going away. See you. Okay. That yeah, was that was cool. That was cool. Yeah, we saw him. Nice one. So, what was the noise that you were making? The feeding noise. What's the feeding noise? Make. Can you make it? Ah woo! Ah that's the feeding noise for the hyena. Okay. So we're what? gonna find the Colobas monkey. Colobas. Yes. Okay. They have black and white. Okay. Have you been to City Park? Uh. To. No, I you don't know, so. they have all the monkeys for free. You can like go, and oh, the yeah. monkeys will come. You just feed them. Okay. And it'll be like ten on you. Oh right. Yeah. You should go. Yeah, I think I went to. Uh, they have a lot in the arboretum. Yeah. I've been yeah, there. Yeah, as yeah. That's where my friend lives. They have a lot of monkeys there as well. Okay, so these are the Colobus monkeys. Cool. Wow. So why would these ones be in a cage when you've got the baboons running around like crazy? Because these ones they don't belong to Nairobi. They were rescued some, somewhere, and this was the right place to bring them in. And since you cannot land them back to the wild, you can't put these ones in the wild. No. Why not? Because they have get used to life they in what? captivity. Oh, they're used to life in captivity. Can yeah. I feed them? Yes. Do I just give them this? Yes. Okay. You, go. you gotta get close. There you go. Can I go in? I wanna go in as well. Here. So what is this? They like this? This is called Riz Candensis. One of the best for the Liz Cadensis. Riz Cadensis. Riz Cadensis. Hey, don't snatch! Be nice! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, did I get him snatching? I don't even know. Oh my god. Why would he do that? Can I have one? Alright, oh, yeah. 
Oh, Did jerk. I know. A little jerk just snatched from Brittany in so Africa. Rude. You don't snatch things. So Look, there's a little squirrel there as well. Okay, does this guy want some? Are you going to snatch from me as well? Oh! <laughs> Look at you! A little attitude. Huh? Come here! Okay. You want some? There you go. Another name is called the Chief Magistrate Monkey. Because <laughs> he looks like he's wearing a gown. Yes. Yeah. These ones are awesome. Hey! Where are these ones from? They are from Mount Kenya. Ah. Close to Naivasha. And they don't have a thumb. They don't have a thumb? Oh yeah, they don't have a thumb. So they've only got four fingers. Yeah, they only have four fingers. But they hey. have five toes. <laughs> this you're not gonna eat this. The other one's eating collard greens. He's like my spear leaves. Yeah, I think this one's kind of mean. No? Yeah. He's kind of an angry one. I think I like this one better. This one's calmer, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with you. He just tried to snatch my phone. Did he? Yes. Like a mean little monkey. There you go. Let's see if he tries to snatch it. <laughs> Look at the squirrel enjoying the leftovers. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna give you some more. Ah, gentle. Look at you. A gentle friend. All right. Cool. George, we have to do like an expedited thing because in one hour we have to do the FOMO. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're doing the fast tour. The fast yeah. Next we go find the uh, rhino. The rhino? Oh. You have any facts about the rhino? Is that a white rhino or a black rhino? White rhino. Okay. Do you know why it's called the white rhino? Because they've got white. It has a wide mouth, but the Dutch people could not say wide, so they kept saying white. Yes. So eventually, it just became known as the white rhino, even though they are not white in color. It is supposed to be wide. White mouth. George. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna take your job. <laughs> <laughs> this way. George, she's showing you up, George. <laughs> Dutch people could not say the word. I think I knew that already and I forgot it. Well, I, first of all, was excited to see an all-white rhino when oh. I went to Old Pajetta. Yeah. And then out comes this gray rhino. Okay, yeah. And I was like, are you kidding me? And they're like, no, it's not the actually mouth white. It's the formation of the mouth. The black rhino, you see, the mouth is pointed. Oh, mm. black rhino, white rhino. Yeah. Mm. A browser, a grazer. Which one's more aggressive? The black rhino. Okay. It's very mm. dangerous. They live solitary life. Oh, do they? Yes. And this one, when they have the baby, the mother stays in front since they pave way for the baby. Okay, okay. But this one, the mother has to put the baby in front okay. so he can keep watching. Okay, okay, I see, I see. But they have poor eyesight, but good sense of smell and hearing. Okay, yes. the white ones and the black ones have poor eyesight? Yes. Okay, so similar levels of eyesight for both. Exactly. Okay. I quite like those monkeys. I've never seen those long tails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very regal looking. Yeah. <sighs> oh, yes. I think I came in here before, but he was. Uh... There is Mr. Dubai. Wow, Mr. Dubai, is that what you, why do you call him that? So this is a grazer. He grazed? Okay. Yeah. And Gosh, they are so large. I know, look at them. You see the horn is attached to the skin. The horn is attached to the skin. Yeah. Where? Show me on the camera. This thing is attached on top of the skin. Okay, as opposed to. And, uh, it's not on the skull. Oh, right. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes they're up there. Yes. Let's see. He's weighing 2,000 kilos. 2,000 kilos? That's two, crazy. Two tons. 
Oh, he weighs two ton. Yes. So that's like ten of me. <laughs> no, that's two thousand. No, that's twenty of me. Twenty of me. Literally. They have special toilet. They go in one point. Wow. They don't go anywhere. So they're clean. Yeah, they're all clean. All right. Yes. You know, the rhinos at Opajeta actually look really distressed. And they have like scars on them. And it's so sad. Right. This looks nice. Yeah, he looks well yeah, taken care well of. Taken care of. <clears throat> are you feeling like there's more tourists coming here now? Yeah, they are, it has opened up. So they are coming on. So yeah. there's more money to take care of the animals? Yes, yeah, conservation fee. <laughs> the one, the one that I was complaining that about. Convenience fee. No, the convenience fee is going to like the app or something. The oh, conservation yeah. fee that I paid. The upkeep for them. Okay, okay. So you just give tours, or do you also go and take care of the animals? Hmm? What's your role? My do role is to uh, do, do the tours. Tours and also feed them. You feed them, yeah. Yes, and also clean up their area. Okay. Yes. Good work, George. Looks like you're doing a good job. Yes. Yeah, it's looking good, George. It's lit. <laughs> <laughs> have okay. you been to Kisumu? Yeah, I have. Um, black girl. <laughs> Straight. What's it's nice. That? I went fishing. I thought I was actually going to catch a huge tilapia, mm -hmm. but everything I caught was like goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> like as small as goldfish. <laughs> yeah. Do you like tilapia? I do love tilapia in Africa. Oh. Yeah, but in America, I would never eat tilapia. Oh, do they? Yeah, they have. I didn't even know. I've never tried tilapia until I went to Uganda. Oh. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. It's fresh here. Yeah. yeah. But other places. I can't wait to go to Mombasa and eat some seafood. Oh, my God. You will <laughs> oh love God, it. Oh, my God, the prawns. Mm, 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 mm. I'm jealous. <laughs> now we are looking to see if we can get the king of the jungle. Oh, okay. Which takes 20 hours to sleep. Yeah? Yeah, they only have four hours of hunting. Yeah, but you know, we we all know, I've been here before, and you know, and I know, that the better entrance is around that yeah, side, that beside side. the gate. Where you can see them. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one. There he is. Okay. There he is there, sleeping. Go to sleep. <laughs> Not taking this. We're taking you guys. We're yeah, taking you. We're taking you guys inside the cage. I want to see the two fat lions. The fat ones? The ones in the cage over there. Those are the, the openings. Oh, it's different than here. Yeah. Oh, so they're in different. But you can, we can go around the side beside the gate, Godfrey. right? Godfrey! Godfrey's like, screw you guys. I think I've got a picture of Godfrey. Is he moving? There, there used to be small mice uh -huh. that attracted some python. Okay. Oh, no. The other day we spotted a python there. Really? Yeah, like we, the big one. A big python? A big python. Okay. It ate the lion. What happened to it? Who wins in a fight, a python or a lion? That's a good question. They, wanted to, they eat mice. Yeah, but who wins in a fight, a python or a lion? The, the lion. The lion. The lion. Yes. Okay, okay. Does it eat the, the python? No, it just kills. Just kills it? Yeah, because they are poisonous. Okay, okay. Oh, they eat it, it's bad. So are you telling us that we can't go over there because there might be a python? Yes. You might meet me, I've met you, myself. You met? It comes from the wind. Was it big? Very big. I used to have a ball python. At home? As a pet, yeah. Sanaya. She got too big and I had to let her go. Okay, so... so are you holding them? Yeah, I used to hold her. I used to let her crawl around the house, mm -hmm. but she got too big. And then she started wrapping herself around and I was not strong enough to pull, to pull her. Cause they get stronger and stronger. Yeah. I wish she would wake up. Godfrey. Godfrey. 
Let's go see the right. ones. What did it? What's the noise we make again? So we feed them in the evening. Mm. One take around ten kilo of meat, mm. beef. So these ones. You get them good beef, fresh beef, or fresh. old. That's like my arm. Yeah. <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, you cannot introduce them back to the wild since they came here as little as young ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this has been their home. All right. Godfrey and his girlfriend. That's kind of sad. They can never go to the wild again. Mm. Well, but we are not in the wild. I'll never be able to go to the wild either. Yeah. I think I'd last about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have to go glamping. I, I can't even go camping. Okay, so the lion experience was subpar, but... Maybe we can take them to go see the two fat ones. Is that included? Like, we can just go. <sighs> yeah, I hate that he's not a resident. I'm gonna try... This is my husband. You guys are so mean. Just take us in there. When, when, when... Are you we applied for the... Uh... I'm not actually your husband. you <laughs> 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 Okay, so these are impalas. So there's a Thompson gazelle in there as well. Are they all friends with one another? Yes. Since they live in group. All right. In the wild, would they be friends? Same. So this is a sample of what you will see more and more in the wild. Okay. And that little zebra. Zebra is called Mary. 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 So you guys won't even let these out into the park. No. Because they will Is the park considered the wild? Is it? Very wild. It's a park. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wild area. Mm. Where survival for the fittest. All right. <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds serious. That's the male ostrich. And did you know they run seventy kilometers per hour? Yeah, there's. Did a... you know that male ostriches are always black and the women are gray? Yes. That's how you can tell the sex. Yes. Hey, in Africa, you really are. Turning a safari, a safari. Be like Philly, uh, Philly African now. You know all the knowledge <laughs> with it. You know. <laughs> He's like, hold up now. I'm not going to be showing up by this you American. <laughs> <laughs> did you know what? What did? What did? Uh, you know? Did you know the eyes of an ostrich is bigger than the brain? Wow, that means they're dumb. No, the size in terms of size. Yeah, that means they have a small brain. Yes. That's and, sad. And did you know it takes you two hours to boil the ostrich egg? Oh, snap. Do you know that you can stand on an ostrich egg? Yes. Really? Because they're very hard. They're very hard. I stood on one and... Really? Yeah. I also rode an ostrich once. Wow. And one egg. Have you eaten an ostrich egg? Yes. You know they're super fast and you can ride on them. Have you ridden on an ostrich they before? Really? Ostrich farm. Yeah. Nuh-uh. Where the hell is the ostrich farm? Uh, There's so much here I have not done. Yeah. Ostrich. I've never been to an ostrich farm. So you can ride ostriches at the ostrich yes, farm. Yes. Okay. You can try and do one. Oh, also, also, somebody was like telling me in an ostrich farm that they were showing us the leather that you get from killing an ostrich. So it's pretty bad. But like they have the way that you can determine whether it's ostrich leather is by the little pop, pop things yes. that come on the skin because mm -hmm. that's where the feathers get pulled out. Yes. Mm. And one egg is almost 24 eggs of a chicken. What the weight? Two dozen. One egg is equal to twenty-four eggs. What is the taste difference? Can you can you take can you eat ostrich egg? Yes. But what's the difference like in taste it between a chicken? Oh, uh, it's just like chicken, but more sweeter. Mm. Goes the wild. Creamy eggs with the sweetness. I gotta try a, a Rolex with the ostrich <laughs> egg instead of regular. Tastes like chicken. Tastes, <laughs> tastes, like, tastes like chicken egg, like chicken. but sweeter. But sweeter. Mm. All oh, right, and and there's twenty four, so you could just you could make. I mean, I eat what four eggs of every morning. Really? <laughs> yeah. You can't finish yeah, one. Like you can't finish one alone. No. I would hope not. You. <laughs> Someone sat down and had two dozens of eggs. That's really problematic. Yeah, I said I don't think I've walked over this this part when I was here last. Did you close this during the the pandemic, the COVID? Close. This part. Yeah, the other side. This, was this open during the... Yes. Okay. But not close. Okay, well, somebody lied to me. <laughs> they were like, mm, don't really feel like walking today. It's <laughs> yeah. close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we find the nabi, the leopard. 
Ah. Dabi, Dabi. And the leopards like trees. The sneaky big cat is over there. The sneaky big cat. Yes. Leopards have to be alone. Absolutely. Unlike lions, they cannot be in prides because they are very aggressive animals, even towards each other. And you guys have to like force them to mate sometimes. It's so awkward. That's sad. Forcing animals to mate. You better mate right now yeah. if you know what's good for you. We're <laughs> gonna throw you into the park. <laughs> they are the second most successful hunters. Wow. After lion. No. After what? After African wild dog. Oh. African wild dog? Yes. What is that? It, the dog, yes. the hunting dog. Oh. They hunt 85% they catch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where is he? There. Up there. He's up, upstairs. Wow. Upstairs. Yeah, he's in the tree. Come you can come here. Come here. Come here. Like, look at my oh, camera. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see him, right? He is like out the way. I know, he's like. And they like killing their food and take up from the tree. That is so crazy. We spotted one in the wild. Where? Serengeti. Ah. In Tanzania. In Tanzania. Uh, yeah. You were lucky. Very lucky. Yes. Hard to see. Yeah, yeah, we saw one. We also had a cheetah climb on the back of our safari truck. Wow, that's funny. Did you smell some blood? We saw it from the cheetah. Mm -hmm. That brought the cheetah to the car. So what happened was the cheetah mm -hmm. We saw the cheetah, maybe like 500 meters away. Mm -hmm. Then we chased the cheetah, uh, got to him. Then he saw us, came on the back of our truck. He used the truck to find the prey. Mm -hmm. And then he jumps off the truck. Then I like, got filmed some of it. He chased after a gazelle. Mm -hmm. He catches the gazelle. We watched the whole thing of him catching the gazelle. Oh, and then we turn around because he caught it. We caught up with him and he choked the gazelle in front of us because they suffocate them yes, yes. and then he suffocated it and then he started eating it but, but because they have very low stamina and they are very fast but over short distances he was like <laughs> like this mm -hmm. so then to take a break before he ate the prey he jumped back on the safari truck and he was sitting on the back like <laughs> and the the roof was open That's so, scary. so we were like what oh, should we do? But then, but but it was kind of okay because they're not that dangerous, are they? Mm, they're not. So then, but, no. but then at some point he turns around and he goes to put his, he's looking at us. Like he's, I'm genuinely this far away from him, from me and you. And he looks at us and then he goes to put his paw oh, to no. come in. And the, the safari truck driver was like, hey, 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 and started banging on the top of the roof. And he finally just did this. And I got the whole thing on camera. I was about to jump out the safari truck. Yeah, seriously, I would. I was very close. But yeah, no, he didn't come in, thankfully. And then he got off. So, so the leopard... Yeah, that's a vibe. That's a vibe, I mean. He's very far away. <laughs> he's vibing. Okay. So, his vibe. so far the... Yeah. So far the uh, lions were ignoring us and the leopards up in the tree. But, you know, that, that means that they're really engulfed in their habitat and comfortable, which is what we like, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, it just said that leopards kill a lot of baboons. They don't like. They, they kill them. They don't eat them, but they just kill them because they're. Baboons are mad annoying. Where do you not not talk to you? The view when you come to the top. This is a viewpoint. Yeah, there's a viewpoint in Nairobi National Park. All right. There's a time you come here and you get to see some giraffe here, uh. buffaloes because there's a water point shut down here. Okay. What okay. But not to, there was a time. Not at this. No, during the day. He oh, means okay. like earlier in the day. Is it usually the mornings and the evenings? Yeah. Yeah, morning and evening. Okay. And when there's no a lot of people around, uh -huh. because they are shy away. They shy. Away. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty cool though. I like this little walk path, this, walking this path. Is fun. Yeah, yeah, it's good. good. I've always been to the orphanage, never here. So this. Is oh, so you've never actually been here before? Oh, I thought you've been just the orphanage. Aha. Uh -huh. The park is very big, it's 117 square kilometers. Mm. Yeah. It is the only park in, in the world that is within the city. Yes. Somebody refuted that the other day on a tour though, and they were like, there's one in Brazil, in Rio, something, something. 
What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. Oh, I was like, oh, gee. Are you trying to, trying to create a little conflict? Oh. The Brazilians are going to be up in arms. This <laughs> <laughs> is nice. The river is seasonal. Seasonal. Mm. Seasonal. Seasonal river, okay. So right now it's drought. It doesn't have water. And this is the boundary that separates the park and the safari walk. Oh yes. Oh, the animals can't come in. Is this electrified? Yeah, electrified. Now that's sad. Do you ever find dead animals? Uh, mostly, not rare, but I've seen the electric kill baboon. Okay. Yeah. But everyone hates baboons anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> I saw some baboons earlier on and the lady was chasing them because they were trying to steal f uh, food? some food, yeah. Okay, so there's a little bit of river, but not too much. Yes. Some birds. The secret ibis. Yeah. Yes, and you're cutting the ibis. The secret ibis. Yes. Okay. This river has fish. Oh, really? You're see not, one. You're gonna see it. Some. Ah, hmm. oh, pollution. Do you ever just make stuff up? Mm -hmm. Like when you're giving people tours, do you ever just make stuff up and see whether the stupid tourists will believe it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Listen, where, where was I? I was at um, Hell's Gate, and they're like, "Yeah, this is the valley that Simba died in, right here." <laughs> Simba died. And I was like, y'all are so annoying. No, like, this is where, I think, I don't know if it's true or not. Um, this is where Angelina Jolie shot, like, Tomb Raider oh, or right. something in Hell's Gate. Yeah. Is that true? It's cool. Dude, what's the biggest one that you make up and you just test whether they believe you or not? He's like, dang, I can't tell you. I, don't, I make things up all the time. <laughs> Like, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they believe you. They're like, really? Oh, oh my god. That's <laughs> crazy. No way. Have you been to Amboseli? Amboseli, no. I have. A lot of elephants at Amboseli. Yes. What is Amboseli? But it's not worth going. It's too far. It's one of the national parks that has a lot of African elephants. No, it's good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> It has a lot of elephants. That's the one thing I don't have here. But honestly, it's not worth the drive because otherwise, that Nairobi National has everything. To me. Nairobi has no elephant. Well, except for the elephant. You can just go to the, the elephant. When people, okay, so if you have time to be in Kenya Pool, I suggest that. Well, when people are on a time crunch, I think it's just not even worth like going to Masai Mara all the time or Amboseli. I don't think it's really worth it. I would just safari here or maybe Old Pajetta. You know what I'm saying? Because when you go that far out, it's so far, yes. you know? Very, very tiresome. Yeah, it is kind of tiresome. And so if you're here for condensed time, I would just suggest not like pressuring yourself yeah. to go on like a serious safari, unless that's your thing. But to be honest, do you like safaris? I mean, I think I've been on a good safari, so I'm not going to go on another one. Yeah. <laughs> if you've, and I saw everything. After like a day, I'm like, I don't get how people do this for three days. The only thing that we didn't see, like we saw all the cats as well. We even saw the little cat. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. We saw him. We saw, all, we saw the big five. We just, the only thing we didn't see was the rhino in the wild. Mm -hmm. But we saw the leopard. We saw the lions. Yeah. So, you see everything you need. So you saw everything. Yeah. It is I nice waking it. up in the morning though and very early and seeing them all as they wake up. Yeah, yeah maybe that's it. I've never stayed overnight in a safari. Yeah, staying overnight was stressful. <laughs> you could hear them. Yes. You could hear the, all the animals. I, wo I woke up, no, as I was going to sleep one night just at the top of Ngoro Goro Crater, mm -hmm. we went to sleep at a camp and the buffaloes graze yes. through that camp so i'm in my tent and i had like 10 buffaloes all chomping the grass around me the second deadliest animal in africa yeah <laughs> oh, that's deadly they're all they're all chomping all all around it oh that's scary
I know a lady at my old job who got trampled to death by an elephant on safari because she went out at night mm -hmm. and um, she got trampled. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, seriously. I don't know what happened to details, but it was in the news. That's verifiable. That's awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to get trampled. Yeah. Well, anyway, made it out alive. Okay, so what's the next animal on the list? Uh, crocodile. Crocodile. Mm. The Nile crocodile. Okay. Were well, you able to know they don't have a tongue? Wow. Yeah. I actually, yeah, I did know that. Is this one of those facts that you were just saying no, that you lied it's about? True. It's oh, okay. True. <laughs> Wait, I know a fact. I know a fact about the crocodiles. <laughs> they keep their mouth open. Wow. For cooling purposes. Hmm. They have a butt that gets open. <laughs> they have a what? A butt. A butt. A bud. Yes. But. Bud. The bud. Uh, a bird. Yes. Uh -huh. That does yes. what? That picks off the like a toothpick. Yeah. Oh, picks the meat out of their mouth. Yes. So they'll just open their mouth. Uh, yes. And then a yeah, bird yeah, comes in. I, I saw, I went to um, Murchison Falls. Mm -hmm. And on the Nile up at, up at Murchison Falls yeah. in Uganda, uh -huh. they have many, many, many crocodiles around there. Because they take all the most dangerous crocodiles from around oh, Uganda yeah. and they leave them all near that in the Nile. Oh, that's that. so smart. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, why don't you guys just chill over here? So yeah, we, we saw many crocodiles. And what you should know again about the crocodile, it's the sex temperature determines which sex get high. That's, that's, yeah. Temperature yeah, yeah. determines what? Determines which sex get high. So hard. you can't figure out which sex they are unless you put a thermometer up their ass. Really? Well, yeah, I may Why? have just made that procedure up, but... Oh, thank you! <laughs> so, <laughs> something like that. Uh, so, uh, another thing is that when they want more males, they will bury the eggs close to the shore. Mm. Because the cooler, they get, they'll get hatched. Mm. And if they want more females, they will move away, mm. where it is very hot for so the, the females to get hatched. Oh, so... So the so they can make they can determine whether it's going to be a male or a female by how the the eggs get buried. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. And it takes you three months. It okay. Three months to hatch. To hatch. I see. What's going on over here? And the Messiah dancing. All right. And the Messiah. What what is this? This whole area. That's the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, that's just them in the street. For our, so for the here. orphanage is right there. Yeah. All right. You see that main gate? Yeah. We entered to the national park. All right. This is where we entered. Okay, cool. But we went left instead of right. Cool. All right. There's some Masa just some casual Maasai over there, guys. Yeah, you know. <laughs> TIA. <Yeah. laughs> it might even be Luos just dressed up. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> to make some money. Do you have, uh, does Luo tribe have traditional dress? Yes. Yeah? They do. Each what tribe do? has a traditional dress. Is it the colours? Do the Maasai, because in Scotland, for example, we have different clans for the tartan. So we have different colours depending on, so you'll have like the McDonald clan has a specific set of colours that they will wear. Uh -huh. Do you guys have specific yes. colours? Colours? Colours, yes. Each, each time. Oh, has a different set of colors. Okay. So like, you know this, you know the shawls that the Maasai wear? Yes, the Maasai right. sugar. Ah, then can you determine which tri which clan somebody is from? Yes. Based on the color that they wear? Exactly. Oh, I see, I see. The right. yeah. Okay, the crocodile. Oh, there he is. I just touched an alligator the other day at the snack snake park. Oh, you touched that? Mm. Yeah, I held his tail. Mm. Big one or small one? Big mm. one. <laughs> alligator, not crocodile. Not the Crocodiles and are more dangerous, right? Yes. yes. And you know they get fed inside the water. Okay. So we have put food there. All right. So he'll, you'll get to know a crocodile is hungry when he's inside the water. Oh. I see the meat at the bottom. Yes. Do they eat? When they're in the normal, like in the wild, mm -hmm. do they they catch in the water and eat in the water? Yeah, they are underwater attackers. Mm. They are. So they'll be staying in the water to wait for the animals that are coming to drink. So do they come, but they come out of the water to attack humans? No. Sometimes? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. And they are nocturnal hunters. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I was at Marcus and River Lodge, mm. they were like, do not 
it was night time, they were like, you're not allowed to walk to your thing by yourself. They needed the guide to go with us with the torches. Yeah. In case an alligator or a trace of crocodile mm -hmm. came out of the you're water. Quick. Yeah, they're fast, aren't they? That's crazy. Yeah. And they can weigh a ton. A ton? Yes. I don't know if like my dad is just weird, but we're from Miami. Well, he's from Miami and he told us if we ever got like attacked by an alligator, you're actually not supposed to fight back. If they drag you into the water, like let them take you down and then open their mouth and then you swim up really quick. Mm -hmm. It's true. That's how the wildebeest happen. They get attacked, then they assume they're dead, then the crocodile will leave, then they run away. Yeah, but if you fight, that's when they start like rah, 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 gnawing you, and then you're going to die super quick. Hmm. So for all everyone watching, if you do end up in a situation where an alligator or crocodile is taking you down, just relax a little, huh. and then flee. Just let them take your arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just hang out for a little. <laughs> just resign your arm to the, to the process. It's okay. Pretend dead. <laughs> yeah. So we've done the wetlands. We've done the drylands. We've done the forest. We saw the monkeys. What else did we see in the forest? The leopards in the forest as well. But then when I was in the savannah and the leopard was in the savannah, but there was a few trees. So they do like the savannah area as well, yeah? Yeah, they do, yes. Hmm. Hello. Shit. So I'm from Scotland, but it's close. Uh, close yeah. yeah. You speak Gaelic? No. Nope. English. English. Just. Just. <laughs> Only just. Just English. <laughs> no. Just English. No. Oh. I, yeah, just English. <laughs> But also, I only bear. Well, I meant just in two ways. Just English, but also only barely English. <laughs> humans. Yeah. So open to see the human. Humans. Oh, oh that's deep. Wow. Oh, that is deep. <laughs> Damn. That one, that one got me. That's sad. Yeah. And which animal have these footprints? Um... Okay, um, I don't know about this one. This one looks like a uh, rhino. No. Can you come and help me? Brittany? Yes. Can you come and help me, please? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm so bad at this. What is this? Um, so, wait, hold on. What possible? So, it's, got, it's one of the ones we've seen in here? Yes. Um, pygmy? No. So, it's not the... Hippo. No. That was the hippo, right? Pygmy hippo. Um, not the rhino. Not the rhino. Uh, the zebra? No. Hmm, tricky. Oh, oh, buffalo. We didn't see a buffalo. Yeah. Didn't see a buffalo. No. no, we did not see the buffalo. How come? Is this one? A leopard. Yeah, uh, yeah. Leopard. Lion. Oh, Simba. <laughs> he sort of looked at me and. Dang. Not an elephant, obviously. Well, it's broken. Mm -hmm. but this is not an elephant. So that's a rhino. I see a hippo. Rhino! See, you did well! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could you show me how to do the dance, maybe, Brittany? Could you film it for a second? Yeah. How do they dance? Do you want to show me? Do you know how they dance? Maybe they jump. Like the massage. Do they? How does the massage on? you jump. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm loving that. But we have different dances. What do you dance in a Luo tribe? Oh, Luo's get down. Yeah. The song, traditional song. Uh, Luo music sounds like Congolese, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Very, very... Very crazy dance. Because you just go small. Just like that. They do that a lot of... Dance. Dance, 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 dance. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, ooh, look at that little man. <laughs> yeah, just a little two-step. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a little two-step. <laughs> I've nailed it already. And then there's no other moves. Slowly. You just go pole pole with the music. Mm-hmm. Is it the two-step? Yeah. And you move. This is nice. <laughs> yes. All right. Shall we go? Yeah. Okay. Guys, we'll see you at Bomas of Kenya. Tell that to my YouTube channel.
We're supposed to be YouTubing. Okay, okay. Well, guys, we can't go to Boma's because it's closed until elections. They have shut down the casinos. They have shut down Boma's. Uh, what next? Okay. Kenya. Well, that's... Casinos are open. Casinos are not open right now. Which one did you How much you want to bet? Which ones? I'm asking which one did you find first? Um, Las Vegas, Mayfair, Lucky 7, the one on top of Ad Life Plaza, the one by Blackies, the Hemming, whatever, they're all closed. All closed? Yes. I'm trying to tell you. They've closed them all, unless you know some like janky ones. Mm -hmm. I just go for the vibes. I'm not a gambler, you guys. <laughs> I have a friend who gambles, not me. I just go for the vibes. It sounds like you're guilty. Just you sound like you sound like nobody was like on, a on. nobody was accusing you of having a gambling problem, but now you're like, huh? no, I don't have a gambling problem. No, like, no. Mm. no, no, I love to vibe, but um, okay, so Bo that? so Bomas of Kenya, shut. What else can we do in this area? Giraffe center. No. What about... Okay, guys, we're going to do some research. Tell you yeah, what we're going let's, to do. Yeah, let's think. All right, guys, so well, that's the end of that video. Hope you enjoyed the safari walk. We are going to figure out what we're going to do for the next video. We're thinking Eastley, but anyway. Yeah, let's go to Eastley. Yeah? Okay. I like Eastley. Let's do it. Yeah. You'll be able to see that in the next video. But yeah, if you guys haven't already, go and follow Brittany in Africa. Yes. The link is below in the... Follow me, you guys. ...description. Follow her, like let's her videos. Vibe. It's amazing some of the content that she's making so you guys go check her out and you can see my interview over in that channel as well he's bad yeah and um cool and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel do that like this video share it with a friend and i'll see you in the next video bye